Hey, I'm Seth with Land House. Thank you so much for joining in today. This is my garden space. It started off as a 40 by 40, and now it is more of a 20 by 20. The bigger garden was just more than I was able to keep up with, and I think this is gonna be about right. So, if you're new to the channel, I have a creek down here with a ram pump. That ram pump takes water up this hill and uh, all the way up to past my car up there to uh, a storage tank. And then it comes back down and meets up right over here. Uh, there's a little bitty pipe over here. And this past year I was using a garden hose to come from this point here. So that right there comes down gravity fed from my tanks. And uh, what I would like to do today is unroll a hundred foot of three quarter inch poly pipe to the garden so that I'll be prepared for gardening season. Playhouse is kind of in the way here. Uh, so I'm gonna stretch out this pipe from right here, over here. What did you find? I, I found a missing screw for my house. You found a missing screw? Okay, maybe just put it on the window up there, and Dad will use it to finish your house. Yeah. Yep, you can put it up there. <laughs> okay, like I was saying, uh, I think what I'm going to do is take the poly pipe to either this corner right here, or maybe uh, this post over here by the door. Uh, I think if we come right here, we could just kind of skirt around the playhouse a little bit and bring it here so that it's centralized in the garden space. That way I can have a hose that's 25 foot long and have about eight to nine PSI to water the garden. All right, enough talk. Let's go ahead and dig this little trench here. Okay, we have the poly over to the gate. So that's where we're gonna dig this trench here. But I first want to go ahead and cut this PVC down here and T in so we can uh, capture the water from this. I wanna keep this valve here because when I drain my tanks, it's nice to have it go down the ditch here. Uh, so let's just go ahead and T in to this spot right here. AC pipe? Yep. Well, what's Actually, AC pipe? We've got a better way. I almost forgot that my subscriber, David, gave me this pair of PVC cutters. It's gonna make this job way easier than trying to uh, use a hacksaw. There we go. Way better. I'll help you. You're gonna help? Okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get this glued on here. Oh! A little on. A little on. But what is this? That is PVC cement. PVC cement? Yeah, nailed it. So you go round and round? Yep, round and round. So, a pipe gets thin? Yeah. What this stuff does is it glues the pipe together. A glues the pipe together? Yep. See, watch this. We take this glue, Whoa. we put some on here, put some on here, and then and we stick them together. That like is, that. there's so much else in here too. Yeah, lots of stuff is in here. So I, I, I'm just going to get one um, um, just like this. Okay. Let's see, we'll use that one on the other end. Let's see, if you would step right over here, please. There you go, you got it. Dad have a 
little bit of dig time here. What? And then I'll get you back in. Well, my daughter Emma just uh, quit on me. She doesn't like to work outside more than just a few minutes. And also just found out my son Arrow is awake. So I'm gonna fill this little bit of the trench here and go in and take care of them while I actually does some work. I do all my YouTube stuff on Tuesdays. Today is Thursday. I just thought I might try something while the kids were in, in a good humor, but that time has passed. Okay, we're back out. My helper last time got a little bit uh, tired until we went back in. Um, before I finish burying the pipe, which is right down here still, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out this other water tank here. Yeah been storing this for a while Good, Dada. thank you I get these at a local hardware store for nine dollars a piece yeah they're used but um, they are food grade safe so I'm able to use these for my water storage adding this will give me a hundred and fifty five ish gallons of water at cool. the storage tank so I mostly just want to get this out in the Sun let it warm up for a bit before we spray paint it gray like the others. What is it, Emma? It's coming indoors. What did Dad find? A lot is coming indoors. We found a way big rock in the middle of our trench. Crunch! 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 That's like a 30 pound rock there. So we're making some decent progress here. We're maybe a little over halfway. Yeah, we did a big old rock Dad will move it over to our pile of other big rocks As I'm digging I noticed something pretty cool the old garden fence used to be at this point right here Because there's a hole for where the where it used to be and as you can see the dirt here is this red clay dirt That's um, kind of poor quality, but as soon as you hit this spot here the quality of the dirt changes where I was attempting to make good soil for the garden. So it's this uh, deep, rich color here, uh, which is good news. So hopefully my garden over here is getting good, decent soil for this upcoming growing season. I'm very terrible at gardening, so I really want to start watching YouTube videos on how to garden so that I can grow some stuff. Because so far all I have that's really effective out here is two blueberries and a raspberry um, and so, of course I've got uh, garlic over here that you can't kill so <laughs> but anyway I really hope that I can grow something this year and I'll have water right here at the front post made pretty short work of that trench just took a couple of days it'll be way better than having to move a garden hose around uh, especially whenever I want to go mow uh, but anyway this summer, this should be completely covered back up with grass and we will not have any problems there. So what I need to do is cut off right down here and I want to mount a piece of PVC pipe up my post here. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just come up maybe pretty low, a foot or two up here and uh, have my shut off valve. But uh, for now, Let's go grab the spray paint and get the 55-gallon uh, barrel painted. I'm painting this for two reasons. First of all, the blue doesn't look very good in the woods. And second, I think this gives a little bit of UV protection since it's going to be outside all the time. So I'm going to give this a quick spray down and then we will go to install it up on the hill. That's a solid first coat. I might buy one more can just to make sure none of this blue shines through. Um, but anyway, pretty good. We'll give that a while to dry and uh, I actually have some stuff to do. So I have to come back to this project on a different day. We're 30 minutes before nap time. So I've got the good help today. Arrow's giving his Cheetos to Wally, which makes him happy. And Emma's playing up here in her playhouse. But okay, I thought what I would do is go ahead and cut off our poly pipe here and come up and I'm thinking about attaching to uh, the post here so let's go ahead and do that since I already showed you this on the other side I'll just bring you back whenever I have finished this here okay. let me show you what I have here I just decided to um, bring 
the black poly pipe up here and I use uh, some of that plumber's tape to get this stuck to the side of the post. And I've ordered, Wally, what you doing? I've ordered a stainless steel valve for this daddy, to make daddy, it nice daddy, and daddy, easy. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Uh -huh. Is Eric trying to give away his puffs? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Because he don't like it. Oh, he does like it. <laughs> anyway, the natives are getting restless, so we are going to go walk down the road for a bit, and I will come back and show you the, what I've got figured out here with the um, that tape, and then also Ashley has gone to the store to get some more of the spray paint for the other side of our barrel, which is way up here. I'm up here on top of the hill next to my water tower where I have got the third barrel that we just painted. I decided just to give it the one coat and I would use that extra can to uh, make these darker and the tops of them also need to have more paint on them because they're starting to peel off some. So uh, to get this matched up with the other barrels, you can see I'm feeding from the bottom. Uh, I've got some uh, Unisil. If you've never used this product, it's a little rubber gasket. Works kind of like a bulkhead, except you don't have to access the inside of the tank to use it. So we'll get that installed here. But I mostly just want to see the distance between, let's see, this right here and this hole. So I'll be using a, uh, a 90 here. So I can cut a piece that's somewhere around what uh, three and a half inches ought to get us in there um, so my subscriber uh, David sent me this pipe cutter let's go ahead and use that here to uh, get us going so I just come down about uh, actually I want to cut the other end I used a file to taper this off and that's going to be used to push the pipe up into this unisil so let's cut the other end here to get our uh, three and a half inches. Hey, okay, let's see how well these cutters do on this larger PVC here. I used a cheater bar to cut some other stuff that was pretty big. Man, it's tough. Let's try it this way. There we go. <laughs> One more ought to do it. There we go. Whew. Definitely works well on smaller PVC. Okay, I'm gonna get this piece right in here first. Sorry for that angle. It's a little difficult to film up under here. Okay, went ahead and cut this piece here. I think it's the length that I need to go into the barrel, but um, this isn't attached yet either. Just gonna hold it here. So this one and a quarter unisil needs a two inch hole saw, which is what I've got here. So let's go ahead and put this, I'm thinking right about here ought to do it. And it will have enough room for that board to support this weight over here. I like whenever the uh, hole saw catches the material and doesn't drop it in here. Uh, file to get those little bits off, but it should be okay. So this just slips in here. Now ideally, I would have brought some soap up here to get this thing lubricated, but we'll just try the old spit method. Okay, now let's test this up here to see how far we need to go. Well, I may have to move everything that way a touch because I went uh, too far in on the barrel. By, or I didn't cut my other piece long enough. 
I guess I should say. You know, I meant to go ahead and cut my pipes down here to give more room. See the issue I've got? I bought some uh, adapters to move that, so, because I can't move this other stuff over here until the pipe is looser. So let's do that. So I have this scrap piece that we cut down at the garden spot. I think I'm gonna cut this in half right about here and cut this in half as well. And just add this little section here of, what's that, a foot and a half on each pipe going in and going out. Just to give enough room to get this from uh, doing this weird bending thing that's happening. So I guess this is a good idea. We'll find out. Let's just do about half and half here. Okay. I've just got these little connectors. be good enough. So let's go ahead and cut this as well. I may have been able to get this one out of up here, but I really don't know. I might try it with the other one just to see if I can pull it loose. Um, those are oftentimes really tight, but that way I can save a piece on this. I went ahead and got this work done without showing you here. I had to add a little coupling in there because there was no way it was gonna fit without uh, doing that. But we can go ahead and open this valve now. Yeah. And now we've got a hundred and 50-ish gallons of water storage up here. I got my spray paint. I'm gonna go ahead and get the fronts of these covered gray so it's uh, more consistent to that dark one. But uh, anyway, so water comes up this pipe here, circles around, comes to this check valve, fills the tanks from the bottom, and then it comes out here and down towards the garden uh, to give us a nice good supply there. The top of the spray paint just fell off on the ground. Now I have to climb back down to get it. And there we have it. Three barrels freshly painted and plumbed up to the water tower. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of ram pump testing this year. And as usual, I do it down here in the front yard with this water instead of going down to the creek. So the water still comes from the creek with my ram pump, but I like to keep it up here um, next to the house. So that's what some of this water will be used for. And the other bit will be gardening. So look forward to some of those videos coming up pretty soon. Well, I still have a little bit of work to do. I'm going to bury some of the pipe that's going down to the uh, creek 
but um, for now I think I'm just gonna call it good for this video so thanks for watching if you would ring that notification bell and subscribe I would definitely appreciate that all right I'll see you next time bye